We Piss in Our Pants Yet? <laughs> it's Walking Dead time. Sing me a song. I'm going to talk about this episode, and I'm going to talk about my predictions for the mid-season finale next Sunday, which I swear they could have just had a three-hour episode this week, and I would have been down with it. So, um, let's get the bad stuff out of the damn way, okay? Um, I'm not sure what the dude's name is. Is it Spencer? I don't know, because I get Spencer and this guy confused. The guy that was with Gabriel, the priest guy, the guy who was saying Rick is shit, and who went out and got the bow and arrow, if you guys are watching. By the way, spoilers? Spoilers? Okay. <laughs> you should already know. So the guy that went out and got the bow and arrow, him. I don't really like him, but he's right. Rick is being such a bitch-ass pushover, and he should be a lot stronger, is my first opinion. And that's something I don't like. I hate how bitchy Rick's been. And he didn't get a lot of flavor in this episode. But my god, Negan, can you please be my stepdad? I mean, I love that actor. I loved him in Watchmen, and that's the only thing I've seen him in, but that was enough. I love him, and I'm glad he's playing Negan, but this whole, like, like Raising Carl thing, like he did um, in the comics, that shit was awesome. The only thing I didn't like about it, I heard in the comics, I don't read the comics, but I heard in the comics that, he, that Carl killed a lot of Negan's men. He only killed two this time. And what is Jesus doing? He is hiding left and right. I'm pretty sure that Jesus wasn't the one that gave Daryl the, uh, you know, escape now thing. I'm pretty sure it was Dwight's wife, but it was so brutal. And let me get this out of the way. I know I'm jumping back and forth, but I'll try to hit everything in this. Um, I'm sick of AMC not saying the word fuck. There's multiple times it should have been said, this is a gory, bloody friggin' show, but they can't swear? No, no, no. There was multiple times, like for instance, when Rosalina was trying to get um, dumbass hillbilly to make make her a bullet... She should have been like, you better fucking do this for me. It would have been 10 ounces better. And also, something that Negan said when Carl first came out of the thing shooting people, Negan should have been like, you know, you should use the F word. They should drop it more often. I mean, you could show everything else, but you can't cuss. Meh. So, and they can even show an iron to the face, but you can't cuss. That makes no sense to me. So, they didn't have too much Rick on here. Like, I'm trying to figure out how are they going to do as much as I want them to do in the next mid-season finale. I think what I'm expecting is the season finale, not the mid-season finale. Like, I want it to be, like, all-out war by the end of it. And I'm a little bit nervous about what's going to... I don't think it's going to be as good as I want it to be, the mid-season finale. That being said, I love the Negan and Carl relationship. I think that was really cool. I like how he took off his eye patch and was like, you look bad ass. I just hate how Carl was a crying little bitch, but he was tough. And I know that's why Negan loves him, and it's really cool. And I think they should have, like, shaved Carl's head or something so that I think that he could see the eye better. I thought that would have been funny as hell. And um, at the end, with Negan playing with uh, Shane and Lori's baby. Sorry, Rick. <laughs> I think that was cute. I'm sorry because I still don't see Jeffrey Dono as Negan. I see him as an actor that I love, and he's all playing with a baby as a father of a three-year-old myself. Shameless promotion, we posted a... Minecraft video of me and my daughter playing. It's the video right below this one. Check it out. <laughs> but I think that was really cute. Negan shaved, and so did I. Did my hardcore fans notice that I shaved because I had a beard? That beard was not permanent. It was just something that, I don't know. I'm kind of coming out of my cave now. I'm kind of getting over some things, and I kind of want to be stronger. We'll talk about that somewhere else, but I decided to shave my beard. I decided to dye my hair purple. If you know where that's from, I love you. Bet you don't. There's no way you know where that's from. But this episode... It was really cool, like, because there's so many angles. Like, uh, Rosalina, who is my favorite character now. They haven't showed Maggie, but Rosalina is my favorite girl character now. It was Maggie, but I'm really feeling Rosalina. She's fucking awesome. Um, why didn't she ask for more than one bullet? He could have probably made enough rounds to fill that whole chamber. That's what I would have did. But she's a total badass. It's weird, because all the girls are getting it now. Like at the end where he made fun of that fat girl that I don't remember her name. I'm not trying to be mean. I don't really care. But slapped him. That's what I'm talking about. The girls are more badass than the guys. It's ridiculous. I'm waiting for Rick to step it up. I'm sick of every season Rick being a little bitch. And then by the end of it, he gets all powerful again. You know what I mean? It's kind of boring. But um, from the teaser, you know, the, uh, n the next season for Mally. The teaser looks really good. So Negan has blood on his face. He's all shaved. He's going to kill someone. Everyone says it's going to be Spencer. That's what everyone's saying in the comments. Rick's all teary-eyed of that, oh, my God, he killed someone. Um, there's a rumor going around that the guy playing Carl 
his contract is up and he wants to go to college. That rumor, I'm sorry, you can go to college whenever you want. You can go to college in five years, ten years, three years. You do not turn down a show that's paying you millions of dollars to be at it to go to college. I'm sorry, you made it. You don't have to go to college. But if he wants to do it, do it. But wait. Wait more. Like, you know, give it a few more years for The Walking Dead. You know what I mean? Because uh, I don't think they will because of what's going on with Negan and Carl. They're making that relationship way too good. But we'll see what happens. Like, I'm really I'm really interested in seeing what happens next week. Oh, we all are. But I'm trying to, like, figure out what's going to be the cliffhanger. You know, they always have a mid-singing cliffhanger. Now, they better not kill someone and not show it again. I'll fucking hate that. But I would like to – I don't know. I want them to kill someone, like, quick if they're going to kill someone. Like, I don't – that's not going to do it for me. Someone dying is not going to do it for me. I wanted the war to already start. I want them to be at the ward. It looks like it's going to be a boring episode next week. It's going to be so many sides. Like, it's going to be crazy. They, had the gun, they were talking about the hilltop in the sneak preview, trying to talk Morgan into, you know, getting together and fighting Negan. And I think that's what it's all going to build, you know, up to. And I wonder if they're going to end the mid-season finale on kind of like, they get Negan. They get a gun to his fucking head. They got all his team, you know, dead. Daryl fucking breaks out and starts killing from the inside with Jesus. Like, that'd be fucking great. You know what I mean? I'm cussing a lot now. I apologize to my younger fans. You're watching the Walking Dead discussion here. Come on. So, that's what I, I mean, that's what I think is going to happen. I, what I want to see, I don't know. I want to see the season finale be the mid-season finale. I want it where they're taking over and I want the war to start. Like, I feel like these last few episodes, that should have been built up, and it wasn't. They were kind of boring, and I made a rant video about how boring and slow it is. These last few episodes should have been Rick talking to all the different groups about teaming up and getting Negan. Rick should have been badass from the beginning. Like, Rick should have never gave up the gun. Rick turned into a straight pussy after seeing Glenn and Abraham get killed, and it sucks. Rick's character just drives me crazy because he's so bipolar. One day he's a strong-ass guy, and next day he's a little pussy, and that bothers me um but yeah i really see it going that way like you know i don't know it's so hard to say because i'm just gonna go of it you know i know eventually in the comics they capture negan and negan doesn't die i know that i know that he signed up for season eight they're not gonna kill him off he's a great actor and he's being paid tons of money and he's working it this episode he's working it you know seeing him at the end there of his jacket off i want his jacket seeing it with his jacket off and him just playing with uh you know Lori's baby that's badass, you know? I really think Carl's going to turn into a little Shane. It's going to be freaking awesome. I miss Shane. But, um, man, that whole episode, that, uh, that episode was an hour long, not counting the commercials. That was great. Mid-season finale, it needs to be an hour or more. Like, seriously, because they have a lot of ground to cover. You know, if they're going to do that whole, what I want to happen, I guess, if I have to call it, I want them all the groups to kind of start getting together at the end. Maybe they kind of show up together because at this point there's only a few like saviors with Negan, you know, at Rick's group. So they take out those few saviors, get a gun in Negan's head, capture Negan's fucking ass. His saviors at home aren't going to go for him. Daryl's going to take him out from the inside of Jesus and it's going to be action packed and it's going to be crazy. Hell, I bet they won't even have one zombie in it. <laughs> and what's up with uh, Rick's girlfriend, Michonne? Um, capturing that girl and trying to take me to Negan. She's going to get to the place as well, and it's going to see that it's been taken over by Jesus and um, Norman Reedus. I'm just going to say his real name because I can't remember the word Daryl. <laughs> it's going to be taken over by Jesus and Daryl, and she's going to be like, holy shit, where's Negan? And it's going to be taken over, and that's going to be cool as hell. Now, you know, and then it's going to leave the cliffhanger of them actually getting Negan down on his knees and, you know, maybe a gun to his head, and he's going to be laughing his ass off, and he's going to be like, do it. Do it. Do it. And it's just going to drop. And they're not going to see any more until, what, February? I don't know when it's coming back, but they're going to take a break. I heard that they're completely done recording Season 8. At least that's what uh, they said on the Twitter. But I don't know. Almost a 10-minute rant here. I don't know. I might have missed something. I only watched it once. It was a very long episode. But I don't know. This is one of my favorite episodes. It definitely was. Besides the first episode where they had that whole like Negan and Rick thing at the beginning. That was cool. But this is one of my favorite episodes, and I like it a lot. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Like this video, and next Sunday, I'll post, you know, my opinion on the mid-season finale. Dusk and Fly, like, subscribe. Peace.